Olá, pessoal. Então, eu completei um ano fazendo aula de conversação com professores do Cambly. E eu quero dizer para vocês que isso foi muito importante para mim, me destravou um monte, assim, a, a minha fala, é, essa, essa situação de, de ficar com vergonha de falar, né? Eu melhorei, assim, muito, quase que completamente, né? Eu, eu não tenho mais essa vergonha, assim, de de falar, de falar inglês, porque eu não tenho mais vergonha de errar, porque eu entendi que errando que a gente aprende, então eu, eu deixei para lá, eu não tenho mais essa vergonha. E eu fiz uma avaliação desse um ano e eu vi que eu falei com 52 professores diferentes, eu, eu falei com professores de diversos sotaques, a maioria deles, 50% deles, eu escolhia professores americanos, mas eu, eu, eu me esforcei também para falar com professores de outros sotaques. E é nisso que eu, que eu gostaria de trazer aqui nesse vídeo. É, eu vou colocar trechinhos de professores de, de, de diferentes sotaques para ver se você, é, se você adivinha qual sotaque é o do professor. Dentre os sotaques dos professores né, que eu falei, tem sul africano, americano, canadense, é, britânico, tem também australiano tem também da Nova Zelândia, então, se eu não me engano, aí, são seis sotaques diferentes, eu vou colocar aqui e vamos ver se você acerta, se você consegue identificar o sotaque do professor, tá? E aí, co coloca nos comentários se você teve dificuldade, se acertou algum, se não acertou, tá? Eu gostaria de saber, eu acho que isso vai ser bem legal. Então, assistam agora esses trechinhos e tentem adivinhar qual o sotaque do professor. Ah, e caso você queira testar o Cambly, eu deixo aqui nos comentários um link. E se você se cadastrar no Cambly usando esse link, você pode fazer uma aula gratuitamente de 10 minutos para testar a plataforma. Beleza? Ah, well, my accent is a little bit different, but maybe not, not too bad. You learned, you learned to swim when you were 50? Yes. Wow. Actually, almost 60. Wow, that's very good. So before you could not swim and now you can. Yeah, I was afraid so much. Yeah, oh, con congratulations, that's very good. Thank you. This, this is a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> so do you swim in the ocean or in a pool? Swimming pool. And a swimming pool, okay. My name is Isla. I'm from New Zealand. So Port Elisa, Port Elisa is in the north and it's always warm in the north. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. I thought it was always warm in the south. Soothe? Soothe? Uh, yes, the opposite. So the here, north. it's the opposite. Opposite, right. mm -hmm. yes. The opposite, you're absolutely right. Here, it's warmer in the south all the time. And in the north, our weather changes. It goes up and down. Okay. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Well, I yeah, I wanted to ask you that because I saw you and you didn't do this. Uh, do you live in the United States? Yes, of course. I live in New York. Ah, okay. I I live in I'm from New York City. I live in Brooklyn, New York. I usually walk. I okay. usually walk. Yes. Very walk. good. I usually walk, and then they say because walk. why do you usually walk? Okay, I usually walk because the swimming pool is near my house ah very good it's very close to your house the swimming yes. pool is near my house yeah very good then you don't need to waste fuel money to drive up and down you can just <laughs> walk everywhere okay in your routine is there anything you'd like to change if so why would you like to make changes so some everything something you do every day is there something you would like to change maybe yeah
I would like to change. You can say, I would like to change the amount of time I spend at home. Ah, the amount of time I spend at home. Okay, I yes. got it. Because I would rather, I would I, rather. I would rather, I don't know rather. Rather, instead of being at home, be, um, go traveling. So rather like this. Oops. Like that. I'm sending it ah, to you. okay, okay. Okay. I would rather uh, go traveling. Yes. yes. Be your, traveling. Your accent is rather, but I... I Rather. I, Maybe you yes, understand when I say rather. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I would rather... <laughs> Rather, rather. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I would rather go traveling okay. or be traveling. Okay. Okay, no problem. So, um, we would say good day. Good, good day, day, mate. It's good like day, a mate. good morning, good afternoon. Yeah. Yes, which, like, uh, how are it's you? It's just actually like, yeah, it's like it's a hello. 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 Yeah. Yep. Ah, oh, good day, okay. mate. Yeah. Good day. Exactly. So, say if you were going, um, if you're if you're w just walking somewhere, and you know, like maybe you're walk walking to work, or you're you know uh, walking to, um, you know, just just going for a, a walk, and somebody walks past you, and you say, "Oh, good day, mate." Like you were just <laughs> acknowledging that person. Yeah, because okay. we, you know, Australia, we're quite friendly people. Um, you know, uh, we're we're really, we're, we're oh, sorry, we are really sort of like, you know, um, yeah, we like to acknowledge others, and um, yes, and that's our way of saying hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never heard that expression before. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, the that's first funny. time was in your video. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is that's so funny because yeah, yeah, it is so normal in Australia. Yeah. Okay. Are you cold? A, a little bit, yes, but but it will it will get better. That's why uh. I'm like this. Yes. Yeah, but it's it's good. He fixed it. He said it will warm up nicely, so it'll be fine. It's, yeah, it's cold here too. Is it? Well, how cold is it? Like zero? Uh, no, no, no. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I think uh, 18, 18 degrees. <laughs> oh, my dear. Look. <laughs> A little different, <laughs> but I know that's cold for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. We. You're well. Really well. Cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It has been. So I'm glad he was able to come and fix this, and now we can be more comfortable in the house. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So, so yeah, speed speed is not so important at the beginning. It's not important. You learn the vocabulary, you learn the phrases. Yes. The speed that comes in time. Yes, it is true. Don't worry about that at the beginning. It comes yeah. with time. So, yes. yes. So I can I can understand when people yeah. Something, but I have difficult to speak. <laughs> well, that's okay. Well, from what I've heard, you can express yourself very nicely. But okay. yeah, speed—it's not the most important. Some people can speak very quickly, but it is not correct. They are making a lot of mistakes sometimes. Yes. When they speak. Yes. And then it is also hard to understand. You are not sure what are they saying. They are talking fast, and there are a lot of mistakes, and you you cannot mm. get the meaning. So better that it is a bit slower, actually. 
you yeah. have the beginning. Yeah, that this is fine. I this is not a problem. I think, mm -hmm. and it will it will get faster in time. Mm. Ah, Elsa. 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 Hello, Elsa. Uh, hello, hello, Elsa. For example, calendar. Calendar. So in the microphone. Uh -huh. Calendar. Ah, oh, very good. Twenty. <laughs> Uh, ninety-seven percent. I. Oh. Yeah. See, I would say calendar because uh, I have British British accent. Calendar. So, yeah, so calendar, Elsa, calendar, I, I yes. think Elsa would not like my pronunciation. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Elsa would say no. <laughs> Yeah, because because in America they say this R, the R is quite strong in American. Yes, in yes. English, it is very very soft. Um, yes. <laughs> that calendar. Calendar. Where, where where is the R? Almost there is no R even. Uh -huh. um, you don't hear it. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. I'll, I'll t I have a student who is Brazilian and he has problems with his pronunciation. This would be perfect for him. I, I will tell him about this application. It would help him a lot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I like this application. I like it so much. I think I improve my, my speaking. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, it helps. Because so sometimes if people speak, they use the right words. But if the pronunciation is not good, you cannot understand. Um, yeah, so it is important.